Now that we've unpacked the Clean Station SRS DT3, the first thing we should do is plug it in. Thankfully, Chris has already done so. The next thing he's going to do is fill it with six gallons of water. Now, when the water level reaches an appropriate level, it's actually going to turn on this controller unit. So, you can turn it on as soon as you plug it in. That's good. As you can see, the controller unit did turn on as soon as the float switch was activated. Red switch will initialize the controller. After a moment, you may press the down arrow to start the pump, heating unit, and timer. The timer is automatically preset for four hours. Holding down the blue button you may see what the preset maximum temperature is, while pressing it only once will show you the ambient temperature of the water. Now, we're going to add the, wa the water works, soluble, concentrate, almost stumbled on that. The amount you're going to want to add is about half a bottle. Luckily this is take two, so we only have half a bottle left. I'm just going to pour the rest of that right in there. You know, this, this new fangled Clean Station SRS DT3 is mighty fine. It's mighty fast, too. You know, I used to spend all days back in the 70s cleaning off a pot. You know what I do now? Throw them inside my Clean Station SRS DT3. It can clean up to, well, as many as you can fit inside of it, you know? And, uh, that's about time for me and my dog Yippers to sit on the porch throwing peanuts at squirrels. Alright, we just got back from lunch. The machine is up to operating temperature. Now we're going to post-process some parts. First thing you do is lift the cage. Place the part inside the cage. And for this demonstration, we're actually going to do multiple parts of varying sizes. Immerse the cage back into the caustic solution. Press the arrow to restart the pump. Timer set for four hours. We're going to come back and show you just how long it took to clean them. Thanks. And then we're going to cut to a thing that says, he's an idiot. It's not cleaning. It's clean station. Just finished shooting some of the uh, funny parts in this video, and we're going to come back and see if these are all done. First thing I'm going to do is lift up the basket. Sure enough, a couple of the parts are done. I'm going to set it kind of sideways so I can grab them. Alright. Alright. Two of the three parts are completely post-processed. We're going to do a before and after quick. Show you what they looked like. Viewer discretion is advised. You want me to talk about the clean station DT3? I'll tell you a little story about it. Wreck my damn life. That's what. Works so fast and efficient, I no longer have a job. If it wasn't for that machine, I'd still have a family. I'd still live behind my picket fence. Now you can find me sifting through the garbage in your local neighborhood. Broad Street's my, my locale. Uh, the worst thing about it is there's cats rummaging around in my box, eating holes, looking in the harsh winter wind, and blowing and then Jack Frost nipping on my nose, as they say. I hate that machine. It's not cleaning, it's a clean station. Look ruffled. Where's my other damn glove?